Now, the first thing I need to do is establish my leadership. And the best way to do that is to make him move his feet, because in horse society, the one who stands his ground is leader. So to show deference to another horse, he would need to lower his head, in the same way that dogs lie on their back to say, I don't want to fight. Horses need to lower their heads, move their feet in uh, supplication, I suppose you'd call it. Good boy. Now, the quickest way to start getting the horse to listening to me is to make him move his feet. Moving the feet gives me authority. If I can tell him to move his feet, that immediately puts me in a leadership position. The difference between touch and non-touch is profound. The difference between nearly touching him and actually doing it is day and night. So when I, whatever physical aid I give the horse, I come from nothing to something. Back, first the word, back, then the touch. Good. Back, back, good. Back, good. Back, good boy. When you give an instruction to the horse, try not to do a physical aid until you've made it clear to him with the words and your body language what it is that you want him to do. So if I tell him to come and he doesn't, I'm not going to pull, I'll rather give a little jerk. So, Fred, get eye contact. Fred, come. Fred, come. Hey, talking to you. Come, come. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. There's a good boy. Good. Back, back, back. Good. Go this way. Come. Always choosing an arrival point. Way up. Good. 